As I kept seeing this snowdrift come off the lake and it comes off the lake and, and gets blown over this granite dam and comes down and, and it's been collected here. So I've been looking at this collection of like powder. So I decided, well, I was gonna make a snow fort. And what turned from a snow fort, what turned into uh, a monstrosity of what we have today. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this was that everybody was getting pretty down and out about this winter. This winter has been epic as far as snow goes. So I wanted to do something that would like bring everybody up or bring me up. You know, I was starting to get down myself and then it's just kind of one of those things where make something, you know, out of nothing. Do something to positive rather than just get beat up and be all negative about something that none of us are in control of. I kept seeing all these people on on television, you know, on the news, they were talking about um, such and such as uh, Snowbank Bar. And I was like, it was like a Crocodile Dundee moment where, you know, the guy pulls out the knife and Crocodile Dundee pulls out this huge knife and he's like, that's not a knife, this is a knife. So I was like, well, that's not a snow bar, this is a snow bar. I'd come down here late at night. I've done two nights work through the night. I have over 60 hours into this project. Everybody around town has been stopping in all day long and yeah, it's been fun. And of course people think I'm crazy, but there's like a fine line between insanity and genius. <laughs> What I wanted to do was make it like a fun thing where everybody could like enjoy it. That's so cool. Winners here, we're New Englanders. Uh, it's gonna happen every year. Get over it and uh, stick together, help your neighbors. And you know, yeah, as communities, you know, it's nice to see people come out and help each other. So that's it. You know, stay positive, enjoy life, live it.